So my, the research that I've presented at this conference is trying to solve a simple problem, which is trying to uh, come up with an estimate of the number of people moving from one country to another country in the Asia Pacific region in a, any given year. Okay, and the problem is we have, we're looking at 53 countries and uh, migration from one country to another and of those 53 countries only four provide any type of kind of data what we would call a migration flow. Other countries provide some information, partial information such as labor flows, but none of it is complete. So our project that we're presenting here is, is trying to base is presenting our first attempts at coming up with a complete picture of, of, of the movements across a very big region in the world um, so that we can understand the impacts of migration better. Uh, the four countries are are uh, Japan, South Korea, New Zealand, and Australia. And all four of those countries have excellent administrative systems to gather information on migration and, and entries and exits. Uh, the problem is, is they're not the major senders or receivers within the region. And they're not necessarily a, a kind of a typical country within the Asia Pacific region. So one of the challenges, although those countries provide really good data, is how do you translate that those experiences to other countries? And so we really need big countries like China and India to gather information, uh, as well as a lot of other Indonesia, Philippines, um, Pacific Islands. You, you name it. Any any if any country could do better, it would help us, our understanding of migration. And my view is really the best way to get to improve the situation on migration is to improve the administrative data collection systems either for border control, censuses, um, registers, and so forth. We have strong population registers and really strong interconnected administrative data systems. So uh, those are, and I think all countries are moving in that direction and we will get there. It might take some time for countries don't have many resources or expertise, but really, uh, for all sorts of ranges, even beyond migration, having good information on their populations and how you know their health care systems, the tax registers, and and also uh, enable them to count how many people there are. But yeah, from for migration data perspective, countries that have good population registers that pull information from lots of other administrative registers within the country have the best information. <laughs>